look at a problem like this now. Uh, we gotta start inside, so that's three to the half um, x to the half y to the half. And I can take all that through, and I can sit here and do all that, but why don't we simplify in a different way? Right? I could take that through and do the same thing. So this is what I am going to do. Since they are both to the one half power, I can rewrite it like this. 3xy over 27x squared y and take all of that inside of there to the one half power and take all of that then on top of that to the negative one. So 3 over 27, I can simplify by taking a, a 3 out of both those. So it's actually like saying 1 ninth. Um, I can simplify those quick. Um, 2 minus 1 is 1, so that's just an x down there, a 1x, and it's on the bottom because that's bigger. And the y's cancel out. So really, I have a 1 over 9x. That's it. All to the 1 half, all to the negative 1. Well, if I multiply, that's like actually saying that I have 1 over 9x to the negative 1 half power. So really now all I have to do, and let me rewrite that quick, 1 over 9x to the negative 1 half power is take that through to both items. And I also have to remember that it goes through to this as well. So I really am looking at 1 to the negative 1 half over 9 to the negative 1 half x to the negative 1 half. So all the negatives I have to flip-flop, which means that goes down below. That goes up, and that also goes up. So really I have 9 to the 1 half, I have x to the 1 half, and 1 to the 1 half. Well, 1 to the anything power is just 1, which basically means I no longer have a fraction. 9 to the 1 half is like saying the square root of 9 and the square root of 9 is 3. So really I'm looking at 3 times x to the 1 half, and that's it. Which, my official final answer I would write as 3 root x would be my final answer, writing it as uh, roots and rationals. Alright, taking a look at this item. Okay, um, Basically what this means is I have to take, I'm going to look at just this one first. I have to take the third root of every item the third root of every single item that we have underneath is basically what this is saying I have to do. So really the third root of 8 is like saying what number 3 times is the same that I will give me an 8? Well that's 2. So that simplifies to a 2. This is like saying x to the 6 over 3. This is like saying y to the 2 over 3. This is like saying z to the 1 over 3. And 6 divided by 3 I can simplify to squared. And this is currently what I have on that side. Okay. So that that's just that side. Okay. Well, keep in mind I'm still still not done yet. Okay. That's just that side. So now I have to keep going. Um, I still have that x over there, which is needed. Okay, so I'll need that. But I still have to do this third root of 27. Third root of x cubed. Third root of y squared. Third root of z. Well, the third root of 27 is like saying what number three times straight in a row. It's exactly the same. will give me 27. Well, that's a 3. And this is like saying x to the 3 thirds. And this is like saying y to the 2 thirds. And like this is saying z to the 1 third. But keep in mind, I still have that x out in front, right? So this simplifies to uh, a 3 out in front. I have an x. 3 over 3 is like saying another x. I have y to the 2 thirds. And I have z to the 1 third. Well, y the first and y the first is like saying that I have a x, or sorry, not y the first, x the first and x the first is like saying that I have uh, x squared. So really this is saying, the second one saying I have a 3 
x squared y to the two-thirds z to the one-third. Well, this is what I want you to notice. This was the first item, this was the second item, and look at this. These two items are identical, right? See how they're the same? This is the same and this is the same. If I'm adding them together, right? If I'm adding them together, basically what I'm saying is if I have three of all this junk and I have two of all this junk, I have five of all this junk, right? So let's see here. So x squared, y to the two-thirds, z to the one-third. And if I had two of them and three of them, I have five of them. Now I'm almost done because I need to rewrite these, right? These are fine because they're nice whole numbers, but these aren't. So really what I have is a 5x squared, and what I have here is I can actually pull out in both of these items a one-third, and then I can rewrite this as the third root of y squared z. So yes, I get it. This is a challenging section to simplify all of your roots, but you got to remember all the little rules. And remember the little rules such as um, no negatives, right? You can't have negative exponents regardless of whatever it is, okay? Also remember, you cannot have improper fractions, right? Can't have improper fractions. So if I gave you something like x to the 5 fourths, you would change it into a mixed number, right? So it's a 1, because I'm dividing, 1 and 1 fourth. So this would change into x to the 1st and x to the 1 fourth, OK? And also remember that if you have something like an x to the uh, 3 eighths on the bottom, um, you're trying to make it a whole number. So 3 eighths times or plus what gives you one whole? I'd multiply both the top and the bottom by 5 eighths to make a whole. So your official answer for this would be x to the 5 eighths over, that becomes a 1, so just be an x on the bottom. Okay, so keep that in mind. If you have any further questions or concerns, please feel free to email me, and I hope these examples helped.